Welcome to the first video of the channel. Today we will see how to install Windows 98 on Android tablet. The tablet I use as stock Android as the operating system. Specifically it is a Nokia T20 but you can use any tablet with sufficiently powerful hardware. To proceed with the installation, you must first install the Limbo PC emulator app, which is no longer available in the Play Store. In the description below, there is the link to its APK. The following tutorial is divided into three parts. How to set up the emulator app, installing MS-DOS 7.22 and finally installing Windows 98. So, let's start with the tutorial. First, after opening Limbo, I create a new machine which I call Windows 98 SE. Pressing the Create button, a new window appears. In the guest OS box, I choose Free DOS and touch anywhere on the screen. So, I set the RAM memory to 128 MB. As for the boot drive, I create a 5 GB expandable hard drive and then I choose the MS-DOS 7.22 IMG image for the floppy drive and the Windows 98 ISO image for the CD-ROM drive. These files are in the description. Finally, scrolling down, there is the entry boot from device. I select floppy. Now I can run the machine. So the MS-DOS installation begins. The cursor cannot be used at this stage. You can use the on-screen keyboard or a physical keyboard. I always select next by pressing enter on the keyboard, accept the condition and finally create a FAT32-1612 primary partition. After formatting the disk, the operation is completed. Now you need to reboot. I repeat the previous steps and after the scan disk, I rewrite the AMBR code. Choose the installation path and if doesn't exist, I create it. Then I remove the check on install add-on using the keyboard down arrow and the spacebar. I continue on next, then yes, and finally ok. Copying of the file begins. When it asks me for the second installation disk, by pressing back or swipe to the left if the gestures are activated, I select the three points, then on drives and change the image of the floppy disk. I choose OK and continue. Finished copying files, I decide to show startup logo, to disable those startup log function, to enable direct disk write access, to enable both UMB and AMS memory, to load both the ID CD DVD sys driver and CD DVD extension automatically when DOS starts, to use default startup programs, to use default keyboard. MS DOS installation is completed. I reboot the system. From this moment begins the third part of the video. When starting DOS I type d colon backslash setup dot exe in command line and hit enter. I have a Win98 image in Italian. So from now on everything is written in Italian. I press enter and after few seconds scan disk starts up. Controlling of C unit areas may take several minutes. Once scan disk is finished, there is the preparation of the copy of the installation files. Avritten informs you that installation may take 30-60 minutes. I choose Continua. The program initializes the installation wizard. After initialization, 
a message may appear stating that the config.sys file is corrupt and will be replaced. So I choose uh, C Windows as the Win98 directory folder and select Avanti, which means next. The program initializes the directory and checks the disk space. Now you have to select the installation type. I choose custom because I want to add desktop themes. Finally, after selecting the language and keyboard layout, I give my PC a name. The installation wizard tries to create a rescue disk, but when I mask to insert the disk, I abort the operation by clicking on annulla, which means cancel. Now the copying of the file begins. While copying, some messages relating to Win98 functionality are displayed. When finished, you need to remove the floppy disk image using the menu used earlier. I reboot the system. Then I enter the name for the account and, if you wish, you can enter a password for the account. I accept the Microsoft license agreement and write the product key. After Windows has saved all the information, the installation wizard takes care of preparing the hardware. Initially initialize the driver database then detects non-plug-and-play hardware, finally set the plug-and-play hardware. It restarts. In the last part of the installation, there is the configuration of the following elements, time zone settings, control panel, application in the start menu, Windows help, MS-DOS program settings, application startup adjustment and system settings. After reboot, the installation is finished. At the first start, it is necessary to enter the Win98 account name and password and then the operating system takes a few seconds to configure the new devices and update the settings. Thanks for following my tutorial. In the next video, we will see how to install the video driver. Activate the bell and subscribe to the channel. See you next time!